As with this season's Premier League title race, on Saturday, when Arsenal and Manchester City recorded exactly the same scores in their respective fixtures. On paper, City's home game against Liverpool seemed like a game where odds of scoring was realistic given how this particular fixture has played out in recent years, not to mention the encouragement of Jurgen Klopp's side to score a result at Etihad Stadium, increase their chances of getting into the top four. And despite falling behind by a Mohamed Salah goal, it turned into a routine win for the defending champions. And that was when leading striker Erling Holland wasn't even up for selection, as Julian Alvarez, Kevin De Bruyne, Ilkay Gundogan and Jack Grealish rounded out the comeback. Reid Trossard is the one who hugs Gabriel Jesus full-time, as he fulfills Arteta's wildest Arsenal dream. This result put some pressure on Arsenal ahead of their game against Leeds United. But Mikel Arteta's side, just like for most of the season, saw Man City's 4-1 score as Gabriel Jesus scored two goals in his return to the Premier League starting lineup that also featured Benjamin White and Granit Jucker. He responded by pairing it with his throw. Match sheet. As a result, only change at top of table is current score total. The Gunners are currently at 72 which means they have outstripped the Premier League points tally by nine games in each of the last five seasons, while Man City is 8-64. in 64. However, North London team's three-goal win against Leeds means they are still two points ahead City in terms of goal difference, and this could be the deciding factor if both teams finish with 94 points. Total Pep Guardiola's side remaining if they win each 10 fixtures they can reach mathematically. Six more teams could win the league albeit very unlikely. In fact, the maximum points total for these teams are as follows Newcastle United Manchester United Tottenham Hotspur Brighton Liverpool and Brentford. Of course, Gunners would need major slump finish outside of the top seven, and fact that there were matches to be played between teams still chasing a championship or place play in Europe meant that only one side, although unlikely, won. A chance to finish the season with a perfect winning record. But if City are team that can do it and Arsenal fail beat their opponents in the goal difference column, they need 23 more points to reach magic 95 points be champions, which works in an ideal scenario. There will be seven wins and two draws from the remaining nine fixtures. However, with top two teams facing off at Etihad Stadium in months to come, have Gunners recorded a Premier League win against City for first time since December 2015, followed by 91 or 92 points depending on goal difference situation. Once again, will be enough to become the champion of England. This is the exciting, yet unexpected, Premier League title race that Arteta's side can afford to lose once and yet this season. Arsenal's remaining matches 0904, Liverpool 1604. West Ham United 2104, Southampton 2604, Manchester City 0429, Chelsea 0705, Newcastle United 1305, Brighton 2005, Nottingham Forest 2805, Wolves Granite Jucker, and Martin Odegaard fix the Arsenal issue underlined by Mikel Arteta William Saliba, Ben White Arsenal injury news and return dates before Liverpool Arsenal's next five Premier League fixtures compared to Man City in the title race, what did Arsenal players and Mikel Arteta do to Gabriel Jesus after Man City's response to Leeds. Arsenal news and transfers, live the latest news, insights and transfer talk from Emirates Stadium.